Welcome. I'm Richard Knowles. And in this video, I want to talk to you about the work of Per Bach on self-organizing criticality and how that shows how organizations change. Per Bach was a physicist working at Brookhaven National Laboratory in the 1980s studying self-organizing criticality. The model he wanted to use was a sand pile, and he would drop grains of sand slowly on top of the pile. The pile would begin to get taller. The potential energy would grow. The pile would self-organize, and at some point, there would be a slippage of the sand or an avalanche. Most of the time, these slips were small. Sometimes they were middle-sized, and sometimes they would smooth out the entire pile. As you watch this, think about organizations. An organization that has a serious challenge ahead of them and they're trying to work on it. For example, how do you reduce the number of injuries we're having? Or how do we improve customer service? Or how can we reduce the amount of harassment and sexual harassment that's going on in our organization? As people talk about this, just like the grains of sand, each conversation builds up the potential energy. And people self-organize around these ideas and gradually change begins to happen. Just as in the sand pile, the changes tend to be small at first, but then they can grow and be middle-sized and sometimes you can have very significant changes. We can grow and learn with the small changes and when we make mistakes, we can fix them easily. So that's a good way for us to begin to shift and make a transition. And these changes show up quite quickly actually, but you have to pay attention, you have to see what's going on. Sometimes I would see people loaning equipment or others picking up trash when they hadn't before or people talking together and solving problems that they hadn't done before. Small things, small conversations began to lead to bigger and bigger changes and the changes build up just like the sand pile, each idea building on the next and the pile getting bigger and taller and the organization becoming more productive and more effective as we went forward. This is the way I was leading the plant when I was a manager. We had 1,200 people. I walked the plant for about five hours a day for about a five-year period. And as I walked the plant, I listened, I watched, we talked together, we explained things together, we tried to open up the conversations, we built trust and interdependence. And in the course of doing this, I began to see change taking place. People were picking up after themselves better. They were helping other groups like lending them a truck if they needed it or clerical help. They were coming up with ideas about how to improve the processes and talking together to be sure that they really would work. All kinds of ideas about all the different aspects of our work began to come up. People began to have more energy and vitality. And the organization improved in many, many ways. For example, we cut our injury rates by 98%. Emissions went down 88%. Productivity went up 45%. And our earnings went up an astonishing 300%. As people came together, learned, talked, listened, and helped each other, extraordinary sustainable change began to emerge out of that process. Leadership plays a critical role in this. The leaders and managers need to go out among the people in the organization and talk with them. Talk with them about the important challenges. Listen, learn together, help each other, ask questions. Tell them when you don't know the answers and you'll find out and get better. It takes courage, care, concern, and commitment to do this. But the payoff is extraordinary you can get large-scale, sustainable change in engaging with the people in this way. I call this way of leading dynamical organizations theory. It's dynamical because there's a lot going on all the time. Nothing is sitting still. But we keep at it, we keep talking, listening, learning together, and we get better and better in the sustainable energy. The sustainable changes build just as in the sand pile and the performance is a wonderful thing to watch 
and it's fun to watch the people grow and develop and get stronger and better able to do the things they want to do. Thank you and have a good day.